Hi, this is just a short video where I wanted to talk about how you should treat different clients and how to differentiate the important clients from the not so important clients. And the answer is quite simple. It's that all your clients should be treated like your most important client. All your clients should be your VIP client. Now, this could seem obvious to you because you could say, well, everyone's important. But on the other hand, if you're more of a mean type of person, you're just like, I don't care about anyone. I just want to look out for myself, I'll look out for number one. And I just want to make a lot of money and blah, blah, blah. Even if you're that selfish person who doesn't care about anyone else, you should still treat all your clients like a VIP. And the reason for this is simple. Once you've been translating for a while, you'll understand, you'll see that the best types of new clients are referrals. Referrals are always better than any other type of client. And you want to maximize the number of referrals you can get. The only way to do this is to treat the clients you have very well. They'll keep you in mind as someone who stands out, uh, who's above the fray, and therefore you'll be the first person they come to mind when they do need to recommend you to someone else. And now an instructive anecdote. By way of example, uh, just something that happened to me recently is I got contacted by a person who needed translations and he just needed something short and it was basically a paragraph out of, I think, eight different paragraphs and only one needed to be translated. It was a very short job, easy job. But when I had done it, I looked briefly at the other paragraphs and I noticed that there were a couple mistakes, a couple mistakes that were repeated throughout the paragraphs. So, you know, that had nothing to do with me. I could just finish my part, send it in, and then be happy, be done with it. But I thought I should mention something because, well, put myself in his shoes, he probably doesn't notice this mistake because it's not his language, and so maybe I should point it out. So I said, you know, I was like, here's your translation. By the way, I noticed these other mistakes that are repeated in the other paragraphs. If you want, I can change them. And he wrote back, he's like, oh my God, no, it should be changed. Could you please do that? So I did it. It was pretty easy for me, sent it in and didn't charge him for it, only charged my Porsche. And that was it for about a month, month and a half. And about a month and a half later, this one lady emailed me and she did work for an agency and, she's, and she said, I was given your contact details by this first guy and I have this translation for you. And so I did the translation and then she had more and more. And anyway, she became a regular client. I ended up earning quite a bit from this. It's because I did go above and beyond this one time because I stood out because I showed myself to be proactive in addition to being a good translator. Just to recap, treat all of your clients like VIP, treat them all like your top client, like your best client. I'm not saying all of them will refer you all over the place, but it will definitely increase your chances. That's about it for now, and I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe for more videos about freelance translation, about freelancing in general, and I'll talk to you next time. Sabido.